everyone welcome back today we're going to show you a pretty cool electronics hobby project that I learned to do now mind you we are not responsible for any electronic devices that you may destroy in the making of this project but this is a cool one okay most people have a PlayStation 2 at home it's a slim line now most any PlayStation 2 memory card will work like this. What it looks like when you open it, something like this. Let me show you a little closer. I'm going to show you what we do. Okay, here's the basic housing of your memory card. And when you open it up, it will reveal something pretty cool. This is added, of course, the wires. And if I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a very tiny LED right there. Anyway, you have uh, the connectors which connect to the PlayStation system and allow you to save memory onto the chips. Now, this, what this project is going to do is going to allow you to install LED in the chip so you can see it blinking as the system is saving or reading information from the card. It's pretty cool. Okay. Now start from right to left and you count over five slots. One, two, three, four, five. Right here in between the groove. That's the first. That's going to be your positive side of the LED. And then you go to the last one. That's going to be the negative side. Now what we had to do is we had to find a spot on the board where we could solder. And we're going to show you what it looks like after we solder. Okay, everybody. We're back. We put together the memory card. And let, us show you. let me show you how it looks. So as you can see right here is the LED. Now, it's plugged in as you can see. I guess you can see the red uh, standby mode. Now we're gonna turn it on. You're gonna see what happens. As you can see, it works fine now. We're gonna go into browser mode. And you should see it load. Checking memory card, as you can see, and when it receives data or remembers data, it's blank. That was another useful but useless project.